Hello YouTube, welcome back to Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In this video, I will show you methods to copy formulas and functions inside Excel. You can download this workbook using the link inside the video description to follow along with me. To begin, I will start calculating some totals and averages. To do that, let me place my selection right below the January column near total cell. While I have that cell selected, I will go into the formulas tab and select auto sum. This will help me calculate the sum of all the cells above it automatically. Now see what happens when I click on auto sum. It selects all the cells right above it. There are no numbers on the right or on the bottom. Hence Excel picks up the cells on the top of that cell very smartly for me using the sum function. All I have to do is press enter on the keyboard and it is done. Now to copy this function in other cells I have different ways. First I can simply copy this cell and paste it over all these cells or I can select this cell and use that little drag handle to drag it across all these cells or I can go ahead and manually type the function under each cell or there is another magical method. You can simply select all these cells and click on that little auto sum and it will be done. Let us take a look on all these methods one by one. First, let me copy this cell by pressing Ctrl C on the keyboard and then select all these cells and press Ctrl V on the keyboard. Excel does not copy the content but the function of that cell relatively on all these cells so that it matches the column. So it, if you see very closely, if I am selecting the column F total, it is showing sum of F3 to F16 right inside the formula bar. Similarly, if I select the other cells, I have sums for that particular cell only. Now, let me get rid of these and try using the drag method. You can see my fat cursor on the screen. The moment I take it on the drag handle, it turns into a thin black plus. While that happens, I need to press the mouse key down and drag it across. While these cells are selected, I will release the mouse in order to have that function copied over. That's another method. Let's take a look at one last method. While I have all these cells selected, I will click on auto sum and click on sum. See that? It automatically calculates all those cells for me. Now let us do that one more time in the averages column. I can go ahead, place the selection right below the average header. I can try typing in the formula for the average. But instead, I would do the auto function for average. While I have that cell selected, I will go to the formulas tab one more time and below the auto sum, you see that little arrow thing? Click on that and you will see a drop menu coming out. In that, select average and see what happens. Excel smartly picks up the numbers on the left since there are no numbers on the top or the bottom or the right side. Excel knows that he has to calculate all the numbers on the left and that's how he is giving us the average now. All you need to do is press enter on the keyboard and your job is done. But wait, we need to copy this function over all other cells below that cell. How do I do that? I can simply copy this cell, paste it here or drag them across. We have seen that here while doing the totals. But wait, there is another way. You can simply double click on that drag handle and it should be done. This is how you copy functions and formulas as well inside Excel. If there are any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to drop a line inside the comments of this video. I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to continue learning Excel with Sayed.